This home in the administration compound is being built purposely for middle-income earning Papua New Guineans to rent. The cost of renting a home has risen in the industrial hub, but for a locally owned real estate company, it's a quest to build affordable homes. But nature has temporarily stopped this development. And then uh, cost of middle, uh, uh, slowing down construction. We are uh, redirecting our budget to work on this one, so we have to put back our whatever we are targeting to work on the property development. We have to uh, uh, must delay in this law and then come here. Sovereign Real Estate Managing Director Padi Tonga calls for direct intervention from the provincial government and the Lay District Administration. Lay City uh, Authority now, uh, National Lands Department. We are taxpayers, so Mibla, by appreciating the government can rule uh, Slana, can direct them all relevant uh, bodies to come rule Slana. Family homes within Lay's administration compound along the stretch of the Bumbu River are at the mercy of the river. Owners like Paddy have used their own money to build concrete walls to safeguard their investments. The threat of the river brings to attention the struggle in Lay City and other parts of the country for available land to build affordable homes. But that problem may have a solution. Last week, Wednesday, Yanam Omba, one of Lay's traditional landowners, called for the government to help make funding available from banks so that they use their prime land to build affordable homes. <laughs> Lay's real estate market is the second most expensive in the country. Port Moresby leads. It's also one of the most expensive in the Pacific. Paritonga explains that the cost of developing this property will be added on the rent that customers have to pay. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lay.